We start this worship with this prayer. Let's pray together. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you so much. You are good God all the time. Lord, you are worthy to be praised. You, Son Jesus Christ, died on the cross. So you gave us this opportunity to come to you as our own people, Lord. We are far away from you because of sin. But Jesus Christ, His body, they make a bridge so we can come to you. We can be a Christian. We can be a children of God. Thank you so much for that. That's why we want to open the door and want to come into your presence right now. Like a Solomon temple, we want to enter it with thanksgiving and praise. Lord, we want to worship you, bow down before you, and want to see your face. Want to hear the voice. Thank you. Uh, our worship is accept accepted by God and Holy Spirit is working among us. Thank you so much. This is just beginning. Until the end, you can control everything. Lead us into your presence, Lord. Thank you so much. We give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs>
Asmani 
we come to our God, we have to think about Jesus' love, what He has done in our life, what He makes sacrifice for us. When we think about that kind of grace, we can say one thing. Thank you, Lord. Thanks to our God. That's what we want to see. I come before you today And there's just one thing that I want to say Thank you, Lord Thank you, Lord For love you've given to me Blessings that I cannot see. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. With a grateful heart, with a song of praise, with an outstretched arm. God is good all the time. God is good. Amen. I I really thank God for that. This week God gave me uh, gave us that chance to come to you. Uh, even we can't gather in our church, but uh, we can see each other. Still we are in faith and uh, still we can pray for each other. That's why i really happy for that. Thank you so much. You are there with faith together. Thank you so much. This, today I just want to share the Word of God. Today uh, reading the Bible, Scripture, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 15 to 17. Verse 14, it said, For this reason, ever since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all God's people, verse 16, I have not stopped giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may, gave, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know Him better. Amen. Let's pray together. Our Heavenly Father, thank you so much. Your love is always 
coming toward lavishly. Thank you so much. Now we gather in spirit, one place, a spiritual place. We want to worship you, sing a song with prayer, and everything we just want to make it. And also, we want to listen to the word of God today. Holy Spirit, you are the only one can control our situation. And whoever we are, wherever we are, God can help us to understand what you want to say today, Lord. Please, Lord, inspire our heart and do something. And in this moment, we can hear the word of God. Something will happen in our life. Thank you so much. We give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This verse, Ephesians, telling you about who you are. I told you when many, several ser sermon. this is 11th sermon I gave you, this Ephesians, from chapter 1, verse 1 to 17. Chapter 1, verse 1 to 2, is regarding to the people of Ephesians. It is the letter, right? So, chapter 1, verse 14, I explain about you the reason Paul is praising. Remember that praise be to our God, the Father of Lord Jesus Christ. Though he was a study like this, he is, he is exciting and happy with his heart because the sixth blessing is already given to us. He knows that and wants to tell us today. That's why he's so exciting. And after that, he can't uh, waiting for telling like this. Praise be to our God. Praise to the Lord. He repeatedly, he, wa he wants to tell you the reason we are here. Amen? All people of God has to praise. Our life purpose, God made us, designed us. One purpose, one reason. We have to praise His name. Amen? That's why every time we gather in one place and praise to the Lord, Bravo Kijing, we have to say it like this. And our life has to be the worship of before the Lord. Amen? We can't stop to worship to our God, even, our, even this kind of situation. Because we made for this reason. Amen? He wants to explain about it. Why God gave us this all kind of blessing, heavenly blessing, spiritual blessing in heavenly realm. That's the real miracle before the Lord. Amen. We have to praise to our God. He has finished everything. Verse 3 to 14. Last time. Today I just want to share after that 15 to 17. Just three verse. I read for you. And one more time. For this reason, he told about everything about his blessing God, God gave given us. Ever since I heard about your faith, it's the fashion, in the Lord Jesus, and your love for all God's people. Firstly, he say faith. Secondly, he say love. It is very important. Love and faith and another one, hope. Amen. He already told us about the hope anyway he telling about this your face I heard your love for the people I know that I have not stopped to giving thanks to for the Lord he's he's praying is just like that every Jewish people is two or three times a day they pray they make some time and he kneel down and look after heaven in spirit, they pray to the Lord. That's the habit. Paul is an old man. He was a curfew. He has curfew in his house in Rome. But he, every day, he pray for the churches today. The one of them is Ephesian. Because he is somebody, some people deliver the message to him, the news from the churches. That's why he heard about that. And after that, he wants to write. He had made his mind to write down all the things to the church. One of them is the fashion. That's why he's writing now. He never stopped to give thanks to God for the fashion people. 
remembering affection in his prayer. Verse 17 he said, I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. That's the message today. I just make a title to my sermon is Knowing God. His prayer like this, his prayer is very uh, praying his prayer in Trinity. You know what Trinity mean? Trinity means? Trinity is God, Father, and Son Jesus Christ, and Spirit. Amen? That is God in one. God is one God, but He is a three person in God. And we can't understand because we are the human. Our brain is not like that smart, so we, could, we can't understand. Anyway, our God the Father is the God. Amen? His Son Jesus Christ, He has us some job to saving the people. That's why He came to the earth. And he has to go back to Father, prepare my home. That's why he ascended to heaven and he sent Spirit to the earth. That's why you and me believe Jesus Christ and accept Jesus Christ. And the Spirit is still working in the Christian's life. Amen? He mentioned about three. I read it for you again. I keep asking. The God of our Lord Jesus Christ and glorious Father may give you spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know Him better. It's very balanced. You have to know about God and Jesus and Spirit. You have to know about Him more. That means you can properly pray like this Paul. Today, title, this theme, is a knowing God. Why we have to know about Him? Why we have to know about God? Why He's praying like this all the time for Ephesians, not only, not only for Ephesians, for every church and you and me also. Why He pray like this? Spirit of the wisdom and revelation. Through that, we can know Him better. Why He pray like this? Knowing God is very important for you and me. We have to know about God more and more. I just want to give you the reason first. If you know about God, that means you can understand more and more. When we are going to a suva, every time, it's the long distance, the two hours it has to drive. And my children is back, it's very boring. Yeah, so they're driving. I was uh, I was driving. Sometimes they fell asleep and they just play at the back and and just because they are boring and they ask me a lot, Daddy, how how long time does it take? So I don't want to answer. One hour, two hour, or something like that. So oh, it's going far. And after about fifteen minutes, he asked me. They ask me again, Daddy, where are we are? We are Galwa village. It has to go more. They actually have no idea about the Kaloa village. But keep asking a lot. Every 5 or 15 minutes, they ask me a lot. I can't patient. I can't get it. So I, I tell them, shut up. <laughs> Please be silent. I, I, I have to, uh, to keep driving. Yeah. So what? Why they ask me a lot? Yeah. Because they're boring. You know, some curious. Yeah. Life is going on, but we don't know where we are, right? What happened in our life? So what comes up with with us? Every time we have a question, why? 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 Where we are? What is going to do? What going to happen in our life? They have a lot of questions. That's why they can't get it. So go to the witchcraft and ask him. Yeah, what kind of thing happened to after the coronavirus or something like that? Many people ask. You know, tell, you have to tell me about my future. Yeah, they want to know why. 
Why they ask like that? Because they have a doubt in a heart. Amen? They have a worry a lot. That's why they want to know about future, what is going to happen in, in their life. I know, I'm the one that likes old people. So sometimes I'm very worried about my future. That few uh, weeks ago, and also I was really curious because the, the, the internet, international news is coming around Korea and America, the Europe, so, so many COVID-19, yeah, coronavirus-19 is going everywhere. You know, the Fiji is a very small place and many people just shaking hand and hug and even kiss for the chick. All the time we do. And we were really worried about that. Uh, what kind of things happen? Should I go back to Korea? Or go another place? Stay here with, with face or something? So many questions is coming to my mind. I pray to God and God gave me the answer so I decided to stay here but many people like me is very worry because their life is uncomfortable uh, it's not easy right life is just like that one thing I can tell you very important things God knows everything amen God knows everything and even God make a way even God is the one who history maker. Amen. He makes all things for the future too. Everything in his hand. He knows everything. Five minutes after that. Five years after that. Amen. Five hundred years after that. He knows everything. So if he's the driver in my life, that means I have no worry. One thing is very important thing is here. I can't understand what he is thinking. Like a children at the back of my car, still asking, God, God, God. Maybe he can say to me, you stay put and be silent. Trust me, I will bring you a right place. Amen. If we understand who is driver in my life, we have to know about him more. Amen. If we know about him more and more, that means I have comfortably seated in my back and I can stay there calm and happy, enjoy my life. Amen? Everything is here. Know him more and more. You have to understand God first. Amen? You know him better and you can understand your life. Second, if you know about him more, that means we can't have any error, any misunderstood. We don't need to, we don't do any misunderstanding. That means we can have a faith in our life. Amen. I give you one story. This funny story actually. One guy bought motorcycle and he was enjoying his speed to driving. He was in a driving, he was uh, really cool the wind always come and go in his body so he's very cool so he uh, off the jacket and turn backward and he wear like this the jeeper is at the back so the, the winds is not come inside anymore so he's driving like that it's very fast and suddenly it was some happened accident and he was fell on the ground and so many people come to him and check him they are so surprised because looks like his head is going back. So what? He wants to make it right, so he turned it on. That's why he died. It's like just a funny story. Somebody make it. It's not happen truly, but misunderstood. Make that that kind of thing. That kind of things. It's just funny. But in our life, so many misunderstanding. So many people they couldn't understand things. Because they has no idea about God properly. In Matthew chapter 22 verse 29, he said, Jesus replied, You are in error because you don't know the scriptures or the power of God. Jewish people, they read the Bible all the time. The scriptures, all the testament, was their history. They always want to read the Bible, but they couldn't understand. They have no spirit of God, wisdom of the wisdom and the revelation. But so many prophets 
to come to them and they say something they couldn't understand that's why why what they do crucify jesus on the cross amen the light of the world they came into the world the light is so bright for them so what they just blow up they just want to kill him innocent jesus die on the cross with their hand they couldn't understand what bible saying to them even they can't understand about that eternal life one rich guy came to jesus and he's really really anxious and worry for his life he's a young man he has a lot of things to have and he highly educated and he was young but already council member he has everything honor and power still young but he do but he do every kind of religious things he doing all the things follow the all the law of moses but still he worry about his life anyway every people died after the what kind of thing happened to me so he went to jesus actually jesus is young too that time is the 30 years he asked him what shall i do for my eternal life what shall i do jesus said you just go and keep follow the ten commandments he said yes i do everything I followed. Moreover, what, what I had to do is not enough. He asked him, Jesus. He said, you have to be reborn again. You have to born again. He couldn't understand. He, can't, he couldn't understand what he's saying. So he asked him, uh, Rabbi. Rabbi means the teacher. Teacher, I'm the grown man. How can I go back to my mother womb? Born again? That's like a baby? Yes, they couldn't understand so many people like that they reading the bible still but they couldn't understand what he's saying to us in the bible said john 17 3 he said eternal life now this is the eternal life that they know you you only true god and jesus christ to whom you have sent is this the prayer of jesus he said O lord my god father that they know eternal life is they know you the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Eternal life is just like that. Know about God and God sent Jesus Christ for you and me. That is the eternal life. To know about that things. Amen. So many misunderstandings. They can't have eternal life. If you don't know about God, that means we, can, we can't understand everything. Can't have a faith. So many things happen in our life. Actually, we couldn't, we can't understand everything. Why so many people died in this coronavirus 19, the COVID 19? Why God allowed to people die without gospel? Many, many people ask me, Pasta, Pasta, what happened in, in, in the world? And something I know, but something I don't know. Sometimes good people has a bad thing happen. They ask me a lot. Something I know, that's why I explain to you, but sometimes I don't know. Actually, the almost thing is I don't know. Even children ask me a lot. I want to explain to them. Something happened it's the, from the news. They heard something and some happened in their life. And they ask me a lot. But I know something better than them. Much my children. I want to explain them. But something I try to make them understand they couldn't understand. They can't understand because they are children. What I can say that now you don't know that, but you grow up and you can understand that. Amen. Same thing happened in our life too. Why? So many questions we have. Even we have misunderstood a lot. We have misunderstanding a lot, but now we can't understand. But sometime later, we can grow up and maybe we can understand. Right? You have to know about God. Have to grow up. Adult in spirit. Maybe we can understand. How can we grow up? Know God. Amen? We have to know about Him more and more. That's why Paul is preaching this letter. And they keep on his praying for us. For efficient people. You have to know God. Third, if you know about God, that means you can love. We can love Him as much as I know him. First time and the woman and girl and boys they dating each other. Why they dating? Why why they go 
out, have time. Why? What are they talking about? They、uh, talking about politics. They talking about some future for the world. They talking about something national. <laughs> the relationship. No, they just say to each other, "What kind of color you know? What you, you like it? What is the favorite food? What is your family? Yeah, you have an uncle. How old is he? Why ask like this? He wants to know about girl. Amen. The girl also know about him. That is necessary. They has to know each other, right? My wife and me. Met this long time ago, maybe. That was that 1995. I met wife in a university. I was young. She couldn't. She never, never imagine who is Lim. Maybe it looks like very young and yeah, something good man looks like. That's why he she loves me. Yeah, but something. Slowly, slowly, we got marriage, and he know about true me. <laughs> I have a, some bad behavior. Sometimes I have a some temper, and yeah, she couldn't imagine that thing. Sometimes I'm angry very fastly. She never expected like that. How she still loving me. The reason is here. She understand me. Amen. She know me. That's why. Still, she is living with me. If you love someone, you have to know about everything about him. That's the real love. We have to love him, because he lay down everything for us, even his own son, only one son. Jesus was crucified. Jesus was sacrificed for us. His blood was not left in his body, and all his flesh was teared out. He bare his cross for me. That is really big things. So I love him more and more, but still I don't know what is like it. I want to do something for him, but still, not enough. Our life is full of fail. Still, our life is full of worry. Sometimes we very boring to go to church. Sometimes we don't. We like more this world things than our God. Sometimes we fail him a lot. Because we don't know about him, he deserves to have our love, but we fail a lot. We have to know about him, amen. We have to know about him more and more in our life. Why Israel people they kill Jesus? Why? They has no idea what he has done, amen. They couldn't understand. They has no idea about God and God's plan for them and us. That's why they kill him. We have to love him more and more. Actually, we can't understand about God. We can't know that is impossible to know him, know God. How can we understand about God? How can we know about God? That's why God gave us these things. God is the revelation. Revelation means reveal something hidden. Reveal something was hidden, secret. God show us this secret to us to open the heavens door, and we can go through. It is the revelation God gave us, so we can open the Bible and read something, and we can hear the word of God every Sunday, the sermon by the pastors, and you can know about. Him more and more, because he is open his box for the gift, and he wants to give you today. Amen. As much as we know, he show us, we can know him. That is on him. 
our God. God always telling to you and me. God always want to say something to you and me. To show us something, you and me. That's why Paul is praying like this. Keep on our praying. Give you, my God, the Father of Jesus Christ, may give you spirit of wisdom and revelation. His praying is just like that. Give you guys spirit of wisdom and revelation of God. The spirit to give you and me so we can know about God more and more every day. Amen. May give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. Verse 17. Lastly, I just want to tell you about Hosea. Hosea is the one of the prophet. He knows something because he's the prophet. He knows something. The punishment to the Israel people because they commit sin. They against the God. Turn away from God. That's the sin. So God had a plan to to give them punishment so they can be destruction they can be destroyed so he know about the plan so what he do Israel is his own country their own people so what Lord help me Lord don't do it never say like that he say to the people of Israel he say Hosea chapter 6 verse 3 he said Let's learn about the Lord. Let's try very hard to know Him. Why? Israel people have to know about Him more and more. That means they can't betray God. Amen? They can come back to our God. That is the only hope. They have to know about God. God always said that open his arms to the Israel people every day. Come back to me. Come back to me. He sent many prophets to the people of Israel and delivered the message to them. Turn away from the sin and come back to me. Jehovah, your God, he gave them a message already. But they couldn't understand. They can't hear that voice. They killed the prophets because they... Never know about God. Amen. Hosea chapter 6 verse 6. He said, This is because I want faithful love, not sacrifice. I want people to know God, not to bring burnt offering. He said, What to bring the offering? Burnt offering. Burnt offering is something like worship. Better than worship. Better than sing a song. Better than gathering to the church. You have to know about God. Knowing God. Amen. I want you guys to know God. We have to know about God. Amen. This is prayer of Paul today. He is old man in jail, a quarantine. His own house is about to die. And he wants to say to you, I pray every day for you guys to our God, glorious Father of Jesus Christ. Send you the Holy Spirit, the spirit of the wisdom and revelation to give you to know God. Amen. We want to know about God. Don't miss the sermon. Don't miss the worship service. And every time you have to pray like this, this church, Lomoai and Nandaba Church has to grow up with, with the spirit of wisdom and understanding and revelation. And so we can grow up and know Him more. No misunderstanding, no doubt, no worry in our life. I can follow our God and stay, keep silent before the Lord. That's the life we have to follow. Amen. Let's pray together. Our Heavenly Father, thank you so much. You always open your arm to the people, but they turn away to our God. And still many people out of the church, they never come to church. They never believe Jesus Christ. Even they said, I believe in Jesus Christ, but their behavior is away from God, Lord. But still, God wants to tell them, come to our God. Why they never come to the church? Why they never come to our God? Even they heard the news. Even we tell them about Jesus Christ, the gospel of salvation, I can tell them. But they never turn back to our God. Why? Because they have no idea our God. 
Amen. Lord, please, Lord, our church member, every day they heard the message of they hear the word of God in worship service every Sunday. Now we can grow up like that. Turn away from all the sin and go close to you every day because we have to know about you more and more. Please give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Open something and reveal your truth so we know you more and more. No error, no misunderstood, and we can follow you ever and ever as a Christian, as a people of God. Lord, even right now, so many situations in our house, some people very poor, no money to, have no job, and so many things, they pray to our God for their health and disease, and some people die, some happen, the trouble their own life and relationship problem. We have a lot of things to have. Lord, we have a question. We have a doubt. Lord, if we can trust in you, my life, my driver, never fail. He knows everything all the time. He knows the right solution he has all the time. So he can deliver me to the right place. Good place, Lord. I can trust him. I give all my full control to him. That's what we pray. That's what we have today. Lord, please give us the Holy Spirit all the time in our hearts so we can understand with your Spirit, Lord. Thank you so much. The Word of God remind every time, every uh, situation. We want to stay with faith together in our church. Thank you so much. Thank you to give us real blessing, six blessing in from heaven all the time giving us. Thank you. We give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I give you this benediction. I just want to finish the word of this worship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest and abide each and every one of us day know you more and more decided to stay put within with faith forever and ever amen